the number of Nigerians in Ghana, see, it's much. If all those people there are based in Ghana, those guys that attended the show are based in Ghana. Guys, that means when someone said over 7 million Nigerians live in Ghana, do you guys think having such number of Nigerians in your country, in Ghana, is a disadvantage to the country? When people say things like Nigerians are the problems in Ghana, you know how, do you know what I think? hi fam welcome back to my channel so this is more like my first time here like showing my face on the channel you are highly welcome to uncut with uju i officially welcome you guys i see your love i see your support and i don't take you guys for granted sorry in case if you guys see any sounds of um raindrops it's raining today it's a beautiful wednesday morning and i decided to show my face for the first time while we address certain things okay meanwhile the topic i'm going to be addressing today do you guys think nigerians are the problems in ghana you know i create content talking about nigerians talking about ghana on my space on my channel and um sometimes i don't get good vibes sometimes i get sweet vibes but that is not what we're here for so today i made a video you know i'm gonna leave the link and everything for you guys to see where empress gifty a Ghanaian gospel singer was saying you know she got her chieftaincy title as Gomandibo. okay it was actually a very beautiful occasion and it happened during the new year festival in ghana hmm guys the level the crowd of nigerians that attended that show or that um, festival was shocking at a point if not that i saw the tag i wouldn't have believed that that occasion actually took place in ghana because the, the I, I could hear the Igbo language i could the thing that even shocked me the most was the fact that the canopies had the state of nigerians I said Nigerians. <laughs> the canopies had the state of Nigeria written on all of them as in tags. They tagged the canopies according to state, Nigerian states, if that makes sense. Like I saw Anambra state, I saw Imo state. They were doing the whole tradition, like native, our tradition. You know, I kept wondering, do you guys think, is, is it possible that such, or I don't believe that, like, see, this is just like a discussion, it's gonna be, I want the comment section to be very, very interactive, okay, I want you guys to tell me, do you, do, does it mean that those people are actually living in Ghana, or do you think they were invited to Ghana for such occasion, because I saw Jim Ike, and if you know, I don't believe, I don't think Jim Ike is based in Ghana, maybe I'm wrong, Correct me, please, in the comment section. But when I even saw Mirin Joko, I didn't believe that Mirin Joko lives in Ghana. Or do you guys think Jim Ike lives in Ghana as well? Like, the number of Nigerians in Ghana, see, it's much. If all those people there are based in Ghana, those guys that attended the show are based in Ghana. Guys, that means when someone said over 7 million Nigerians live in Ghana, it's high time we start believing that because when I made that video in all my other channel, a lot of Nigerians came for me. They were like, mm -mm, it can't be 7 million. There's no way 7 million Nigerians will live in Ghana. I don't know. I'm literally shocked. So another thing that shocked me was the comment I got under that post. Someone said, can you guys stop fooling yourself in this country? You see what is happening in Upper West. It is coming all the way to Accra. All of you will go back to Nigeria very soon. So guys, I just read a comment, okay, I got from the, uh, under that post that I made. Um, please, first of all, what is happening in Upper West, probably in Ghana, and that's that's where the question should start from, because I'm shocked, I don't know what is happening. If you know what is happening in Upper West, Accra, let me know. The other thing I want to talk about is, like, do you guys think having such number of Nigerians in your country in ghana is a disadvantage to the country it's okay to weigh your opinion okay but please be polite in the comment section okay try to be polite all right when people say things like nigerians are the problems in ghana you know how do you know what i think i kind of feel that um it might not be true just maybe those ones that do illegal things you know might actually be the problem but they are also there to develop the country. Okay, I know people will come for me because of this comment. I know. But see my reasons for saying this, okay? I believe that, you know, Nigerians, they pay taxes. Nigerians, they um, enroll their children in school. They go to the hospital. And all those things has to do with 
funds okay in one way or the other has to do with development i haven't heard that nigerians in ghana to try to you know they have their own investments they build certain things shops and they, you know they own a lot of things in ghana quote me wrong in the comment section please if i'm not correct this is based on my findings okay now let me judge based on nigeria i know it's more like nigerians don't pay tax i know it's more like Ghanaians. a lot of some, some people in ghana don't pay tax okay because i've actually read where they say Ghanaians don't pay tax okay they fail to pay tax something like that nigerians don't pay tax but let me tell you something you might not be paying for tax directly but indirectly you are paying for tax see what i'm trying to say like some shops some mini shops of course if you have a big organization you are you must pay tax because if they catch you but then all that small small shops around they might not be paying tax directly but you know some people like local government officials workers they move around to collect money from them monthly which is being tagged for development so indirectly they're paying for this tax it might not be called tax but they are indirectly paying for tax so when people complain that nigerians are the problem so, so, so the person said very soon they will deport all the Niger all nigerians in accra back to nigeria it's okay to feel certain way because you think they're overpopulating your country but you guys should also try to think you know in a certain way see guys to be honest if those people the crowd the massive crowd i saw if i see the pictures i'll try or videos i'll try and insert them by the side if the massive crowd i saw on that new year festivals are genuinely like nigerians that live in ghana hey hey let me not speak what i don't know see the crowd was actually massive let me know in the comment section so do you think those people were actually invited because for me i kind of feel that they were actually invited maybe because of this new year festival but if the crowd are really like living in ghana that's a that's much and uh, like uh, um naya we say auditing trend auditing the trend it's high time they start giving nigerian citizenship in ghana because the numbers are much i will not even lie and i feel that is the reason why some Ghanaians feel insecure they feel that you guys are taking maybe the best part of ghana i don't know let me just know your thoughts in the comment section that's the reason why i decided to just come in here and share my own honest opinion so let me know whether you think nigerians are influencing ghana negatively i understand some people do some illegal businesses in ghana no doubt but do you think they are influencing ghana negatively or positively and also let me know in the comment section if you would like a live session with me i can as well come live let's talk about things way forward general let's just talk about general topics because i know <coughs> sorry guys because i know that a lot of people enjoy violence here just like me you know i love controversial things a bit i just shall love to trend <laughs> if that is the word and i think i'm beginning to understand probably i'm the only person that hasn't traveled to ghana maybe i can just start, start making plans of it okay because Oh, more. I can't be left out in Nigeria. If all those crowds are genuinely living in Ghana, or more, you guys will see me in Ghana very soon. Mm -mm. I can't. I can't keep coming again. In the meantime, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, what is your reason? Now that you've seen my face, please can you subscribe? Smash that subscribe button to be part of this family and to all those genuinely supporting me. How oh, I wish I can mention all your names here. Yeah, I see you guys. I read your comments, even though I might not reply all, but I genuinely love you guys. Please keep supporting me. I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, talk say I know tell you. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.